I, I, I'm in a fight here. I knew I was right. I knew I call it. Ah! Data 5000 is hospitalized. Due when he fainted and passed out and got after that all the sma after Kimbo smashed him up or he fell down, whatever you want to call it, he's hospitalized. Guess what they found? Severe dehydration and renal kidney failure. High levels of potassium in his body. You know why? You know why? Same issue I said before. Making the weight. So he lost over 30 or 40 pounds rapidly. And in one of my videos, I said that I was concerned about him making the weight and the weight cut. Now here it is. This, this dude, severely dehydrated, hospitalized overnight. Now get this, overnight, his heart stopped beating and he was put on a ventilator to breathe for him. And now his condition is stabilized and he's resting and he's doing okay, all right? The family notified the, his fans and friends of that, okay? And one of his friends slash fans, whatever, that, tweeted that out. Now, here is the problem. I take you back to Conor McGregor, who had difficulty making the weight cut to defend the featherweight belt. All right. Now, imagine that. Conor McGregor had difficulty making the cut to defend the belt, right? Imagine what's going to happen when he tries to come down to defend that belt and then go back up and come down and go back up to defend the belt. He's going to be in some serious issues. Okay? I, 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 I can't say it more seriously that these fighters with this weight, with the, all this weight cut stuff, they're jeopardizing their health and they're jeopardizing themselves. Here is a serious case of it. Okay? You can't go in a ring dehydrated and you, you, get, you go in the ring dehydrated and then you get yourself banged up. Seriously banged up and smashed up. Okay? Now that you have a concussion, you, are, you suffer from, from renal kidney failure while you're getting punched and hit in those organs. This, this, is, this is real serious. This is real serious. And this, and this is why fighters need to pick a weight class, stay in the weight class that they belong in. If that's the weight you walk around at and you think it's worth cutting weight so you can have an extra 25 pound or 50 pound advantage on the other guy, then here's what you do. Take a year or two, lose the weight consistently healthy and remain at that weight healthy and develop a lifestyle that's going to keep you healthy at that weight and then fight at that weight. Don't live a regular life, walk around at 170. Then when it's time to fight, you force your weight onto 145. Then rehydrate with, 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 with intravenous needles in your arm. Don't do that to yourself. You put, you, you're putting your health and your career long term in danger. There, there's no need for that. And this is one of the reasons why Dana White was concerned about Conor McGregor and had asked him to vacate the title because he had trouble making the weight. Now, this, now and, and, and over the past year or two, a lot of fighters have been getting sick and have to be scratched from a lot of these cards because of kidney stones, severe dehydration. One fighter even collapsed and died. So, so this weight cut issue is serious, and I'm glad Dada is doing good. But I, I, I called it before in one of my videos about the weight cut. I'm glad he's doing good, and I hope this experience teaches to develop a healthy lifestyle to lose weight properly, and then afterwards get in the right weight class. In martial arts, if you have the skills to fight and win, it doesn't matter what weight class you're in, your skill will shine and you will win. This cheat stuff where you're trying to lose weight and have the muscle advantage, you, you'll, you, 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 you'll lose. Like for instance, me, myself, right now, I, 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 came, down, I, I came down from 185 to 175. I'm going to go, go, the weight class I'm going to go in is the 165 weight class. I'm giving myself over 11 months to lose the weight and come down to the right weight and fight in the weight class I want to be in. Why do I want to fight in that weight class? Because that's my ideal size, according to my doctor and his medical weight chart. That's supposed to be my, my ideal body mass index, but they don't have come for all this. 
beautiful Muslim body. But nonetheless, that's a weight class that I, I've been in for a while, and that's how I normally fight. And I don't want to I, I have the, 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 the trouble of getting older and not training and then putting on a lot of weight real fast. So I want to maintain a fit and active lifestyle. But the point I'm making is if you're going to fight now, a lesser weight class, do it safely with medical advice and help from your doctors and don't put yourself at risk. The money isn't worth it. The money is no good to you if you're dead and the money is no good to you if you have to spend all this money to, um, to, to, to get, get your health restored. So that are 5,000. I'm glad you're back. Uh, you got heart. You lasted longer than I thought you would. Kimbo rocked you and tested your chin. But good show. Good try. Appreciate what you did. All right? Peace out. That's my two cents.